Ice cream time. Who fancies an ice cream? Hey guys, welcome to video vlog number seven, day two of Silverstone. You can hear behind me the Lamborghinis are uh, racing around the Silverstone track. I'm standing by the mystery machine. As you can tell, it's a lot better weather than it is yesterday. I've got my ice cream that I was supposed to get yesterday, today, um, and it's melting. I was told yesterday at evening that a Lamborghini Huracan was going to be at the Lamborghini display today. So I think it'll be a good opportunity to go and take a look at it, if it's there, and um, hopefully I'll do a bit of a, a review on what I think of my first impressions of the Lamborghini Huracan, the 2015 baby ball. First time I've seen the Huracan in the flesh. Squinting because the sun's so bad but also because how beautiful this is. Let's take a closer look. This ice cream's lovely. That is insane. In the photos, this car looked out of proportion. I was really umming and ahhing about whether I'd like it or not, because the Gallardo was such a classic. Um, but the lines on this are absolutely incredible. There's not that many people around, so let's take a Lamborghini Huracan and I also know a few um, facts about the car as well. I said on uh, the video blog up to Northampton that I'm not that clued up on statistics but luckily I've got a board here to tell me all of the things. There's a 5.2 naturally aspirated V10 which I already knew, four wheel drive which I already knew, it's got the dual clutch which I already knew but Lamborghini like calling it the Doppia Frizzioni. Power output 610, of course, because it's called the LP610-4, because it's four-wheel drive. And uh, maximum speed more than 325 kilometers an hour, which obviously hasn't been tested. Um, the acceleration is 3.2, so you can see that I'm really clued up on this car, because it is one of my favorite cars. A lot of people are asking me whether it's my second supercar. Looking at it now, there's no reason why it shouldn't. It is beautiful. All of the lines are just spot on. There's a little bit, a hint of a Ventador, hint of the old Gallardo, but um, Lamborghini have really refreshed the look of this car. Um, so I think it's time to get up on the stand and really take a closer look at what this car looks like up close and personal. Underway at E2, Cops Corner, it is a great start for a 
So we're driving out of Silverstone, as you can see, I am so tired, we've been on our feet all day. What a brilliant day, managed to see a Lamborghini Huracan for the first time in the flesh, which was absolutely incredible, looks awesome. And we got to see some cool race action as well, a few overtakes, um, not many crashes, but I suppose these guys are trained professionals and know exactly what they're doing. So what's left for me to do, thank you for watching, make sure you subscribe, and of course I'll be seeing you tomorrow and throughout the week. We've got some really cool stuff happening. Hopefully I'll be able to decide on a wrap very, very soon in time for Gumball 3000. Uh, might be a few exciting announcements to do with Gumball 3000 coming very soon as well. And um, let's hope that we meet up with that Army Tricks Lamborghini as well. And maybe a Nissan GTR that also has Army Tricks exhaust system. So lots to come on the supercars of London, London, London YouTube channel. Thanks guys, see you very soon. Make sure you subscribe for a hell of a lot more of this.